Hey guys, what's going on? Jeff here from Films at Home, and today I've got another 4K review to do for you. This time we're going back about 35 years, actually 35 years to be exact. We're going to check out an older 80s classic, and this is Gremlins on 4K for the first time from Warner Brothers. I just got this in, so I'm super excited to check it out. Uh, check out how the transfer is. I talk about all the different audio options. Um, special features and packaging are a little bare bones. I'll talk a little bit about the Best Buy exclusive that's going to be out there. Um, but I do like this packaging here as well. I'll try not to glare as much off the light because it is a little shiny. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to check it out because this is a movie that's 35 years old. It was shot in 35 millimeter. Um, there are 70 millimeter prints available, blow ups of the 35 millimeter. And so lots of great sources to work with. Steven Spielberg was a producer on this. Joe Dante was the director. And it's it's a classic. It's even from, from my childhood. I remember um, watching this movie all the time. I named one of my cats Gizmo after the, the gremlin in this movie. Or I shouldn't say gremlin. They're not a gremlin until they flip. Um, but I named him Gizmo after the main, um, whatever, furry thing in the movie. I forget what they're called, Mau Maugwai or something, before they turn into um, the Gremlins. But I'm excited to check it out because it's an old release. I'm always excited to see what you know companies like Warner Brothers can do with 4K and HDR when it comes to these older movies. And so let's just jump in, take a look at the video, audio, packaging, special features, and whether I think it's going to be uh, worth an upgrade for you to grab this when it becomes available on October 1st. So in terms of the video for Gremlins, um, I, was, I was pretty impressed, but mostly with the uses of the HDR. Um, so there is a really nice grain structure, but the Blu-ray is also pretty well done in my opinion. And so the 4K resolution definitely helps with detail. Uh, it's a smoother, and when I say smoother, I don't mean they smoothed out the grain and removed any of it, but um, you know, with more pixels, with more information, the grain structure becomes a little more detailed, finer grain points. Um, it just looks better. It looks more like a film print more than a digital uh, transfer, which is really cool with 4K. Um, but the real benefit here in my eyes was HDR. If you know Gremlins, if you know the movie, a lot of it takes place in very dark places uh, at night. And I can remember watching the DVD and, you know, there are some scenes that are, they're very dark, they're hard to make out. And so HDR with that added color scheme here and the deeper blacks and the better gray uniformity and all the stuff that comes with HDR was super helpful in a lot of those scenes. I also thought it went a long way in kind of giving the gremlins themselves some more detail and color. In the previous versions of the movie, I always thought that they were a little kind of boring gray. Um, it almost looked like they should have uh, more green to them, which is uh, something I think they did better in Gremlins 2, but this helps with the color of the creatures themselves. And there are other things that help pop here. Um, as you know, it takes place during Christmas time. And so there's, you know, snow on the ground and the white snow um, kind of really, it pops off the screen. It's very bright, very vibrant. Um, that was one thing that stuck out to me. Even in darker scenes, you can definitely uh, clearly make out where there is snow and where there isn't because those, those bright whites with the HDR look great. And they, uh, you know, the contrast levels with the deep blacks versus the snow and the white, really well done. So props to Warner Brothers on the HDR. Um, props to them on their Blu-ray originally because the resolution uh, here looks pretty good, but the Blu-ray also looked really good. So again, you're not going to upgrade here just to get a better uh, experience in terms of the way it looks purely in terms of grain and resolution and detail. There is definitely a minor upgrade, but your major upgrade and the thing that stood out to me that makes this worth a purchase for the video is the excellent HDR content. Uh, they did a great job with this new transfer and moving all of the uh, original film elements into this new format. So props to Warner Brothers for that. So now let's talk about the audio and that's where I'm a little disappointed with this release. The, it's very odd too. The 4K release has a DTS HD master, uh, sorry, I screwed that up. DT, you know, DTS HD master audio 5.1. My God, I've said that so many times in videos, I thought I was losing my mind. So you've got a DTS HD 5.1. Pretty good track for a Blu-ray. I want some Atmos here. Maybe it's not possible with a movie that's 35 years old, but I was really hoping for it. 
And with the Blu-ray, it's odd because you have a Dolby True HD 5.1. And so they're mixing DTS and Dolby True HD. That's really strange. If you already had the Dolby True HD, you should have probably worked on getting that upgraded to an Atmos if you could. You know, why change it to then a DTS HD? Because it's a new audio track. So why not spend the time to, you know, then go turn into an Atmos? I don't know. I, I thought it was really, really strange. Um, you know, I've never, I've never seen that before on one of these 4K releases. And so, you know, in my opinion, the audio Dolby True HD 5.1 is better than DTS HD. And so this is the weird case where it's a 4K that is actually a downgrade in audio. Hard to say that, but it is. This is a definite downgrade in audio and that's going to hurt this release. Now onto the special features uh, and packaging. Uh, the packaging here, as you can see, I got a nice yellow slip cover. I actually really like this packaging. I think it's really nice. Same on the inside. You do get a digital copy. Um, and then pretty bare bones Blu-ray and 4K disc, unfortunately. No disc art. Um, there are also no new special features. So I can read some off to you, but there's 10 minutes of footage not seen in theaters. Making of featurette. Two commentaries. There is a commentary on the 4K uh, disc. Um, and then there's a photo storyboard, theatrical trailers, and some other stuff. But unfortunately, that's all been pre-released on other uh, Blu-ray or DVD releases. And so you're not getting anything new here. Um, there is a Best Buy Steelbook, which is appealing if you're into steelbooks. I personally am not a huge steelbook collector. And so I don't have any problem with skipping that one. But if you are into steelbooks, especially 4K steelbooks, that is something to check out. That will be a Best Buy exclusive steelbook for Gremlins on October 1st in stores and online at bestbuy.com. Um, so overall, I love that this, you know, that they're doing older movies in 4K. I always talk about that. But Gremlins, Gremlins was a disappointment, really. Um, you know, the resolution and the HDR upgrade are really nice. But they really, when you do a visual upgrade, I always like to see them try to put an effort into audio. And it's really odd that, in my opinion, they went backwards from Dolby True HD, which is a really solid track and has always outperformed the DTS HD in my mind. They went from Dolby to DTS. It doesn't really make much sense to me. Uh, so I was confused about that. Um, if you're just looking for pure visual entertainment and you're not a big audiophile, then you're okay with this 4K release but I'd probably say to hold off on release day and go for this more at that 10 to $15 price point. Um, if you've never purchased this movie at all on Blu-ray or DVD, then the 4K is a great option uh, because you know it's all about is the upgrade worth it? And I never really talk about is it worth it if you don't have the movie? If you don't have this movie, yes, this is the best it's looked and you still get a very good audio track although it's weird that the Blu-ray has a better one, you're still getting a serviceable audio track, very good picture quality, and you're getting all the special features that came out on previous DVDs and Blu-rays, and so you're not missing out by buying the 4K. Um, in fact, you'd be getting everything you could have wanted from a Blu-ray or DVD release. And so if you're brand new to it, I would suggest the 4K, you know, for $15, $20, that's probably a fair price point, uh, considering the work that Warner Brothers did put into the visuals. And, you know, if you're looking to upgrade, I think that $10 price point is where this is at. Trade in your Blu-ray, get 2 or $3, $4 store credit for that. Put that towards the 4K and try to find it at some store or on eBay for $10, $12. No more than $15, I'd say, in this case, unfortunately. But, you know, good effort by Warner Brothers with Gremlins. They did a good job in the visuals. I'm just a little disappointed by the audio and that's why in my opinion you know it doesn't really warrant a, a full 4k upgrade at release day pricing because you're not really getting a full package there's no new special features there's no new audio you're just paying for the visual and in my eyes that's worth about 10 to 12 dollars so overall guys just a short review here for you obviously a lot of you know gremlins and so a lot of this focus was just on the video and audio and uh, whether it's worth an upgrade um, Gremlins is going to be available October 1st. Um, you know, I've made my recommendations. You guys do what you want to do. As a 4K collector, I'm really glad I have this. I love this movie. I always want to have the best looking movie. Um, but I'm also getting these for review from Warner Brothers. So if I'm paying for this one out of my own pocket like I had for some others, I'd probably wait for a price drop. Um, either way, thanks to Warner Brothers for hooking it up with this. Um, you know, they have some work to do on the audio, but they did a very good job in the visuals. So not to take away from that, it's an excellent 4K release from a visual standpoint. 
the resolution, the grain structure, everything is solid and the HDR is really next level. That's what 4K is all about. It turns these old movies into really, really nice looking, clean uh, picture transfers. And, and that's what I love about the format. Um, you know, overall, it, it is what it is with the audio. I leave it up to you guys to decide whether you ultimately want to grab it on release day. But I think this is a great candidate for a Black Friday title. Uh, maybe for 10 or $12. I bet you'll see it pop up at some places. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed the review. Definitely check out the links down in my description to my Instagram page. Follow me, say hi over there. Uh, also make sure to check out the merch and click all the Amazon links. And if you're interested in anything from my home theater, whether it is movies, home theater seating, shelving, my receiver, my subwoofer, my speakers, all of the above, check those Amazon links. Make a purchase through the links. Help support my channel. I appreciate it. I will be back soon with more content. And I uh, hope you guys have a great rest of your week. And I'll be talking to you soon.